I never feel proud of myself. I always feel proud of you, but I feel really proud of us. Yeah, you should feel proud of yourself. Very proud of us. We've worked very hard. This didn't come easy. We legitimately dumped our entire life state. Are you nervous? I'm just excited. I'm so excited. More than anything. I think my nerves have gone away now. It's been a long time coming. Oh yeah. I'm already feeling emotional. <laughs> Shit. It's right there. We did it. Where do we begin? 15 years ago. We want to talk about our hopes and dreams as young, broke kids. I never feel proud of myself. I always feel proud of you, but I feel really proud of us. Yeah, you should feel proud of yourself. I'm very proud of us. You know, we've came a, we've worked very hard. This didn't come easy. It's still not easy. It was back up 15 years ago <laughs> when I was, when we were both very poor. We were broke. We were in our apartment days, just kind of figuring out life. I would feel guilty spending $5 on lunch. So she I would won. eat the same exact meal every single day, which was peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a little Mott's applesauce. Yep. The Nature Gra Valley Granola Bar, yep. and I'd have about a bowl of cereal, and I'd have like a little thing of fries and a little thing of chicken nuggets. Yeah, like literally, if we costed that out, your uh, food per day was my, so cheap. My 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 food allowance for a week was twenty dollars. Yeah, that's all I could afford. I was so, so hungry too all the time. I just remember us always talking and we're sitting in our apartment pool and like we should do rental properties someday. Let's actually clue you in on what the heck we're talking about here. Today is January 14th. 2024. October 23rd. We closed on this 2023, house. 2023 we closed on this house. I always like the idea of learning more about real estate in that in that space but at that time I didn't even know how or it was something we just had talked about at that time. I think yeah. too being so broke and really feeling that pressure of just constantly living paycheck to paycheck and feeling buried all the time. And yeah, and then if one thing goes wrong, yeah. It's like your car breaks down. It's like it's like months to try to just catch up. Right. And get back to like baseline right. where you're living paycheck to paycheck right. again. It'd like just getting breaks in my car would put me in debt. Oh yeah. And it's not like we were lazy. It's just like I just didn't have a, a job that paid very well. I think that's relatable. I mean, we were yeah, young, we were in our 20s college. like had tons of debt, still paying off like college loans and all that stuff. So I think, you know, then and now you always hear about investing and doing real estate can be a great path for income. Here we are today with a empty bank account. Yeah, let's be clear. We're not rich. We are taking this chance. We sought out a property that would hopefully earn us passive income. So this is McGay. McGakey's? No, McGakey's. McGakeysville, Virginia. It doesn't look like that, but that's how the locals say You can it. see Trust the us. ski resort like out, it's our a, window. out our window. At nighttime, it's all lit up. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. We weren't necessarily um, like we we want an Airbnb in a set place. Like we wanted to pick a location that would hopefully do well in terms of our investment and making some money back. But at the same rate, Jason and I knew going into this, well, we would like to just capitalize and make it a place that we would want to visit, that if we wanted to go on a vacation, it would be one of our ideal type vacation spots. Yeah. You know, like we weren't looking necessarily to do an Airbnb for like a bachelorette party or thing a, a yeah. big, like, like a kid friendly place. Well, this is kid friendly. But it's very kid friendly. It's very kid friendly. We have a like, movie theater, guys. Design wise, we wanted it to meet our aesthetic. Location wise, we wanted it to meet something that we would want to visit personally and that we would enjoy. So when we found this property in the mountains, truly like a mile from the ski resort, there's indoor water parks. There's so much going on tons in this of hiking, area. Tons of beautiful hiking, hiking. golf. Hiking, it's very outdoorsy, which is originally what we were kind of drawn towards. We wanted- And it's all year round. All year round. Like this is, our, our house is actually in a resort. Correct. A resort community. Yes. So it's not, 
you know, a lot of people were asking us like, oh, have you thought about looking for an Airbnb near where you live? And we kind of didn't want to do that for a couple of reasons, but one of them being where we live, like the seasonality of it isn't a big it's draw. Not, yeah. Cause there's just not a lot going on maybe in the summer months, but we get so much winter with not a lot of good winter activities yeah. around. Yeah. So anyways, that's what led us to this location. And then when we found the home itself and saw it, it kind of checked pretty much all of my boxes right away. Yeah. We had the whole house redesigned. Yes. Like the whole, this wall was not this color. It, everything was the wood color. The whole house was the wood color. It was the wood, which was a bit overwhelming. It's beautiful wood, but it was a bit overwhelming. So it just needed a little bit more of like a different touch to it. And we wanted to lean into that like mountainy lodge kind of campy feel. So the designers really went into it with kind of the like earthy tones of like dark greens and browns and a lot of nature-esque photos and just like minimal touches here and there. Cause at the end of the day, it's going to be rented out. So, and, and but making it a place that's not only feels homey and like lodge like, but really fun. Really like, fun. You can just chill here. Like I don't want to leave. Like, they there's a pool table in the upstairs yeah in the loft area on the bottom floor there's three floors the yes. bottom floor um is a big game room with some arcade games and a ping we, pong table we took the garage and we had the garage converted to a movie theater so we have an actual movie theater guys um which is quite exciting we haven't watched a movie yet but that's on the docket today we came in yesterday Got up at 4 a.m., left at 5.30. Tired. Got here at 1. Spent the whole day just checking everything over just to double check their work. Um, see all the items that we purchased arrived and what we didn't arrive. We had to try things out, um, inventory stuff, and also So we get played some, some pool, a little bit of ping pong, and tonight we're going to watch a movie in our movie theater. We also have a outdoor hot tub. We have a. We should just we give them a tour. We should walk around door. the tour. Did you do? We'll walk around. We'll do a quick. We'll do a quick tour for you guys. This was something we wanted to do for so long, and we took the risk. You know, it's like. I yeah, got very I overwhelmed with emotions pulling yeah. in yesterday, which I'm sure will be part of this video. But so not only it was everything going on for Kara, like on October, like we were in the midst of this as well. So it was her launch. Um, COVID. COVID. We were sick. Uh, grounds and, and this, like and, all at once. And if you've ever closed on a home, it's, it's stressful. A, it's a lot of work. It's, it's not like, yeah, I want to close on that and call it a day. It's a ton of back and forth between going to the bank, getting money drawn up, doing Wire applications, to the contractor um, and, like, all designers. kinds of stuff to like prove your income levels, especially being entrepreneurs. Like there's a lot of different layers to it. So all of that was happening in addition to Buff Money collab, both having COVID, grounds launching, then I was traveling. It, it was all within the month of October. I do wanna just rewind real quickly. When we pulled the trigger on doing this, it was after I quit my job because I just felt like when I quit my job, I needed to go all in on things I wanted to do, whether it was risky or scared me or, or not, you know? Mm -hmm. And so for this, that was one of those things where I think you were more comfortable moving forward and I was not there yet. And then it was, I was just ready to go. Yeah. I'm like, let's just do this and dive in. None of this really felt super real, I would say, yeah. until we were driving, like we had this plan to come here and stay here and view it. And then it really just hit like, we we did this yeah. we we made the choice and we didn't put in action we didn't go back and forth we didn't say let's wait till later we just did the dang thing we followed through we both knew like well let's just do it and see how it goes and honestly the emotions of arriving here and seeing it in real life mountains in the mountain like it just exceeded our expectations like i just i love it so much and i'm so excited for other people to come here and love it and like i just want to continue to make it better but beyond that once once this is up and running and we see how things go obviously that's the hope for jason and i is to kind of keep doing these it was a lot of fun yeah. it was it was stressful though don't get me wrong it was a lot of fun though i had a lot of sleepless nights through part of this process oh gosh yeah like what what the heck are we doing even like leading up to coming here i'm like what if what if we pull up and we're duped like none of what we saw or what we thought was real because we closed on a home we didn't 
you know, we saw it through video with our realtor. We saw it online, but you know, you always have those. Yeah, there's no time those to worries. drive down here, fly down there. We didn't, you no don't time. have time. You have to just the commit house had to the other home. offers on it already. Already, yeah, we were not in a bidding war, but there was other yeah. offers, so we had to move on it. So we wanted to really do something outside of the the space that we already do, um, because also part of it is like we need passive income. I feel because yeah. one of my big concerns always is my future health. What happens if I can't? do this or I can't do that. Right. I, we need some sort of like passive income, but this just felt like the safest path for yeah. passive income. Yeah. You know, like yeah. for, for long, it's not like we're trying to, to get rich overnight. Obviously everybody want is goal to make money and get rich, right? Mm -hmm. It's a slow process. Um, we would love to have like keep doing these and have like 10 properties or more, and be really you know, with that. our goal right now is to hopefully start listing this next week or so. Um, start saving money again and re repeat the process when we have money saved again. But right. yeah, we literally dumped our entire bank account. We don't have much cushion. Yeah, we don't have much cushion. And we don't need feedback on that. We're not looking for like input. We're yeah. fully comfortable with our decision. So we yeah. don't need any of those comments about. We're, we're taking a chance on us. Yeah. And it feels you know? good. Honestly, I don't have any regrets on that. And it's not even listed in any of that yet. And I'm not sure at what point this video is going to go live. So if it's after our Airbnb is listed, I'll certainly leave the Airbnb listing link yeah, do you think yeah. down in the description yeah, box because honestly and that was not the point of this video was to get bookings or anything but why not share the link in case people yep. do want to go on amazing getaway in the mountains so yep. we can leave that linked for you down below but I personally just wanted to keep this Jay and I's own little secret because there was so much else going on and also... Also, I thought we were on vacation doing this on vacation. Yeah, there was just a lot going on and it just felt really chaotic that it didn't make sense to talk about it at the time. Yeah. I wanted to wait almost till things were like... I feel like it stressed me out more, people asking questions or, or people giving input that I don't want. I think that's why I didn't want this video to go live until after it's listed and bookings yep. are coming in and things are moving along. Because it's like my health, I don't want input on what to do right. unless I'm like actually asking for right. it, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's honestly some of the most consistent advice I have received from multiple different successful individuals that I've been blessed to be around in my life. And it's always been have multiple sources of income. And I would recommend the same to you guys as well. And that doesn't have to mean that it looks the same path as Jason and I's because ours is a very unique path, of course. But anything you can do to have multiple sources of income, honestly, I think it just does it increases for me the happiness in my life because it's allowed me to kind of dabble into different areas of my own passion. That you love, yeah, for um, sure. It allowed me to walk away from a job I was unhappy with yep. because I had already established some other ways I could make money and support us. Do you mm. know what I mean? So, um, that assist in supporting us. Assist, I, yeah. I support us. Yeah, I'm, yeah, Jason. When you say support us, I think people sometimes think I don't make any money or do anything. Oh, okay. That's how it sounds. Oh, I don't mean it like that. I pull my weight. I mean, like, well, we're both supporting the family. That's how I mean it. But, um, yeah, I just think it's a just solid advice and it was something we always had on our mind and then of course like Jason tackles all of the editing for both of our channels and above and beyond that and it's it is a lot of time like there's only so many corners you can cut when it comes to editing yeah. and I'm not good at editing I only do it on my phone so, right so now. So Kara handled like a ton of of this you know I was very involved in like Yes, to pro like we were looking at properties like weekly, like almost daily. Yeah. Um, I was very involved in that aspect and like how much we suspend in, in the design aspect, but like setting everything up. Um, I did one wire transfer. Well, we did a couple together, but you know, a lot of the banking, um, Kara put in a lot of like time. Yeah. Getting on, on stuff that I didn't do, like yeah. just even setting up utilities and all that stuff. That's like a lot of work. It like, is, people, but it's, it's a lot of work. That's where like, but, but once me, we get it up and running, our yeah. management team will be will be in full control of everything. And it's like, we'll be like, all yeah. right, hands off. Yeah, we do have property. We're going to have a property management company so that we're not dealing with like calls and stuff like yeah. that. So it's truly passive income. Um, but it made sense to do it that way just so people understand like it's a, always a give and a, give and a take. Give and take. Give and take. Give and take in our relationship because Jason puts in hours of editing, whether it's for YouTube videos, for photography, for reels. He's consistently doing that stuff on my behalf. 
So it makes sense to me, like, I can manage other tasks while he's mm -hmm. doing that. I'd rather take on those mundane tasks while he does the skilled tasks that he's really good at that just makes me look good too. So it works hand in hand, I think. So why don't we give him a quick tour? Just a quick walkthrough. Okay, I wish we did the walkthrough yesterday. We can still do a walkthrough. I just, you know, we've, we've lived in her nicely for 24 hours. TV. Out here is the deck. Tub. With the hot tub. We're heating it up right there now. There you go. So I gotta control the camera. So we can take a little dip later. So yeah, we haven't gotten this yet. A little seating area too. Seating area over here. Seating over, the, over <laughs> there. Just as is me, buddy. Here's the master bedroom. I Look. love just all the little touches. The chairs, the pillows. All of this is brand new. We have the flat screen TV set up in each and every room. Um, just the sconces, like every little detail. The bones of the house were amazing to begin with, and that's one thing you need to be able to have. You need to be able to like see the bones of your house and know what you can do with it. Um, nice little tub. Little jacuzzi, jacuzzi tub. tub. Yeah, we're gonna try that out too. We're, get, we're trying everything out. Shower. We have bathrooms back here. Um, so There's just, both sides. There's toilets on both sides. Just for instance, like this. So you can this, poop with your boo. This wood was all the way through here. So this. That color. Yeah, this like forest green just really breaks it up and gives it that campy, campy vibe. Right now, the contractor still has to remove this floor because this goes to the game room. Just picture it. Game room and theater. Um, yeah, so right below us. Right below us. We'll take you down there. Here's the main living area. A little messy from us, but you can see it in action. Just beautiful in the ceilings. I just, I love. Another TV fireplace. And here's the other half of the deck. I'm not even going to say it's really cold. Here's the, there's Got, the like, hot tub we just showed nice you. Cozy seating area. You could do like lunch or dinner out here. We're going to have a grill out here too. And then there's the loft area upstairs. Want to bring you there in a second. Check the out kitchen. the kitchen is messy. <laughs> this, these stools are a pride and joy though, I think. This is like the one thing from the house that we kept because they're just so cool and fitting. Yeah. So a nice little kitchen area. Yeah, looks so much better so, with that dark So room. again, the cabinets were painted. It was wood color. Like the whole house is wood colored. This bookshelf, we need some more stuff on it. Yeah, we're gonna get a little bit of, a little bit more decor and everything. That was also wood color. Yeah. Uh, got the laundry room over there. Wanna head on upstairs, boo? Yeah. Right. Oh, so downstairs in the entryway, there is one bathroom and then we have the full master bedroom with the master bathroom. Then you come upstairs. Here's we, the view from up here. We have this beautiful loft. Dogs are just eating. Den area, you have an additional kind of seating lounge area. This is a sleeper sofa, so you can sleep a couple people on it. We have the pool table here, which Jason and I played last night. It was funny. <laughs> we're a little rusty, but we're going to be playing more pool today. Um, Look at, I, I still can't believe like we made this happen. Like, I know. I feel like we're paying to stay at an Airbnb right now. I gotta now, like so. stop talking because I'm getting choked up. Oh. Just feeling accomplished. I told Jam like I just want to live here now though. <laughs> it's so nice. Like we're really proud of it. It's everything we could want in one place, which is so cool that it's our first. Like I said, we want to do more. So the fact that our first Airbnb has all the things in it, a movie theater room, a pool what table. What does the to take them through it? Game room, I can't get over it though. I love so. this little like outlet right here. I don't know what to call it. It needs stuff on it. This, I like it cause even like last night, I playing? just put like my drinks on it. I wonder if we need like a little mini fridge up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, it's very like woodsy like through poops, here. I think maybe some pillows if people want to sit over here. We have so much seating now. Okay, show them the rooms, the other rooms. Okay. So yeah, this little section, then you're going to go through up here. Turn the lights we have on. Step up. We have a, a bathroom in here. Ceiling is painted for some contrast. I love that. What are these windows called? I don't know what kind they are. I they, love them though. Oh, you can was... kind of see the mountain through here if you want to show them. Right? Let me see here if I can fix the lighting so yeah, they can actually see Yeah, it's super sunny, so. Ski mountain. Cool. So we've got this bathroom, then we'll show you the other 
guest bedrooms. They're so nice. I did shut all the lights off. Yeah, I don't have the windows open, but that's okay. Everything's just really cozy. The artwork. I don't know if this one's my favorite room or the next one. I'll I like the you. one with the white wall. The white wall. I like the bunk bedroom, too. actually. That might be my favorite. Like, all the details are different, too. So we have different lamps in here. The side tables are different in here. Um, the bed. We've got king beds. This, whatever these are called, in every room. Just, this is part of the house, obviously. Flat screen TV. Got the ceiling fan with the lights. We're going to do some stuff in here, I think, for just a little decor, I think. Right? Yeah. Um, just some artwork here. This is really nice. I like I like this touch. This is bedroom number, well, guest room number two. Yeah, bedroom three, guest room number. I like this a lot. Yeah, the accent wall, they did more of like a cream eggshell color, which is really nice. It's just, so like, it's such a lodge feel to the it. Lodge, I love these, t the touches, you know, just the, the little lumbar pillow with the leather on it to add some texture. The little plant in the corner. Um, the, just the way all the colors flow, even with the carpets. It's not the area rugs. Every room is a little bit different, but all the design just works so well together. You've got like a little mirror right here too, if you want to check out your buff bunny booty and then is this our favorite guest bedroom? i think so i think it is too. look at the size of these bunk beds Let guys me turn this on so you get a little these bunk time. beds could sleep two kids each on each <laughs> yes. on each one and this one's nice cute because it's got a little work desk little too. Nook. um usually like most on the bottom most airbnbs you make sure like the master at least has an office space for people working away but this one was already kind of built in so we've got a little stool and light here got the bunk beds over here and these are big bunk beds like, they're huge you could, you could sit two kids and two kids you totally could so it really just depends on what you're vibing for the weekend a little treasure chest a little treasure chest if you want it if you had kids and you're staying a bit want to bring some toys up nice little seating area with a poof to watch tv big old tons of dresser space i mean we have closet space too but we got dresser dressers in addition this house is way nicer than our house <laughs> oh yeah it's much bigger too um nice closet space yeah i mean you could technically reminds me of the muppets christmas like someone could sleep in the closet if they need <laughs> <Yeah>. to <laughs> plenty of space in there um i forget square footage on this 3200 32 or 36 but then converting the garage also made it bigger. Truth. All right, yeah. let's go down. So, so and just, again, the details to, like, the structure. I love how spacious everything is. Like, it's just so cozy, and it's just so us. I love it. All right, let's okay. take them outside. Downstairs. Coming down the stairs, this is, like, one of my favorite pieces of artwork. I don't know. I just like maps topographical maps yeah i've always liked topographical maps and like old maps i definitely am gonna like purchase more artwork from the place that all, all the artwork came from jj's eyes are glowing are they hi handsome hey good boys so relaxing there's like wind chimes and there's not a lot of traffic through here either so you truly can just sit out here Oh wow, this chair's super relaxing. Feels good right now with the sun and not as much wind. All right, let's go to the game room. Okay. So s soon that wall will be opened up that floor. So they, you want to go outside to get the game room. And there's a ski resort right over Kara's head. Oops, yeah. The, the mountain. I don't recommend wearing your husband's size 11 shoes <laughs> when you wear a size six and a half. <laughs> what can I get you to drink? Whiskey on the rocks? Get a nice Dirty little, martini? Get a nice little wet bar. Nice in, little wet bar. In the game room. Wine rack. Do you like the goggles of the mountains? Artwork? I love that. I think that's so cool. Well, look at it. We got some arcade games, guys. Can Miss Pac-Man, NBA Jam. And they put the... Contractor screwed it up and put it on backwards. He's got to come yeah, back and fix that. Yeah, he'll fix that. that. And look, we got a neon sign. McGackiesville. We got a pool, a uh, ping pong table. Ping pong Played table. Played ping pong yesterday a little bit. Yep. We've got these cute little, I love these 
chairs too with these pillows. Oh, so cute. We have a bathroom down here too. This one still needs to get painted. You can do an accent wall. I know, but I, I really like, I don't have all the lights on, but. Turn like, the lights on. Oops. I like how cute that um. the little antler guy and the sign, like it just, I don't know, it kind of really plays in together. The staircase where Kara's pretending to go down, this used to be a short-term rental, but the bottom half is used by their son, so it was blocked off, so they just gotta remove that. And yeah, that get... way people can easily access both. All right. This feels like MTV Cribs. Welcome to the theater room. <laughs> so we, gotta, we still gotta put more in here. Yeah. So this was a garage. There's more chairs outside that are going to get put together. The sconce on the left isn't working. That's the other thing. We spent a lot of time, like all day yesterday, checking everything out, all the work. Um, recliner chairs, there's gonna be more. There's gonna be another row of them. How does this work? I haven't used it yet. There's a, hand, there's a thing on the side. This is going to be us tonight. It is. After we play pool, after we jacuzzi tub, after we play Miss video Batman. games. Yeah. Um, so yes, we've got some artwork right here. There's still some more artwork to get hung up over there behind the thing. And I want to get something out, like maybe like a thing of blankets. Um, a little boots. basket of blankets to stay warm. And maybe like a little snack cart. Yep. There's the movie theater screen. So cool, because it's so amazing. Like, our lives came full circle, Kara. Yeah, you want to tell them why that is? We met at a movie theater we worked at together. Yeah, we worked together know. for years in a movie theater. Yeah, some of you may know that story, but that's how Jay and I met. And we've just additionally always loved movies and going on movie dates. We're just big movie people, so it's special to have this, have this here. So that's a tour. It's so peaceful here. It is. It's like, ugh. Oh. Seven hour drive yesterday. It really wasn't Ended too bad. Ended up being bad. like eight. It wasn't too bad. Worked all day. Yeah. Worked out this morning. Found a local gym. Found a local bagel place. So good. Um, and then heading back tomorrow at like 5 a.m. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we could probably stay longer and do more, but we got yeah. stuff to do at home too, yeah. so. We got life to be living. We got life to be living, son. Oh. So we are gonna take in the rest of our trip here, tie up any loose ends we need to and I don't know wish us good luck on yeah, this new venture we're scary. we're very excited I'm just honestly really happy to be doing something too outside of the fitness space I don't know why because fitness I love right fitness, but, yeah but it's nice to kind of do, do something, something different. totally different yeah there was so much that we've learned so far and I know we're going to keep learning from yeah this experience and hopefully bring it into our future investments. People like pigeonhole people into almost who they are because that's all they see. But people like everyone, you guys, everyone watching, you're so much more than what you just do. Right. Even if you're not doing it yet, you're so much more than that. Right. And sometimes people just don't realize that. Just because you do something doesn't mean you have to do that for life. Right. Or just do only that for right. life. You know, right. I know that I love dogs, for example. I'm gonna be involved with dogs my entire life. She loves health and fitness. I love health and fitness. We'll be involved in health and fitness for our entire lives. Yep. But it doesn't mean we can't try other things. Absolutely. So if you guys want more of this, I guess. Yeah, I guess let us know how, I wanted to at least. Cause like, this is like kind of like business stuff. I don't know if your audience is interested in business type stuff. Yeah, cause this is totally different. But I mean, there's a lot more that could be said about what we did leading up to this. And I'm sure more that could be um, filmed Please, here after? Please keep using code Kara. Yeah, that's definitely helpful. <laughs> and code Jason for my stuff. <laughs> we we desperately need it now. Now it's, you know, we're, we're in the tight section again. Yeah, we're, we're running a little tight, but so hey. I think it'll be worth it. We, you know. You have to, you have to you try. Have to take you have to try. We believe in ourselves, mm -hmm. so we went with it. Yeah, so far so good. So let us know down in the comments if you want to see more about this and just in general, please wish us luck on this new venture and we will leave the listing down in the description box below if you want to plan yourself a amazing mountain, mountain getaway. getaway in Virginia, McGackiesville. McGackiesville. Peace. Peace.